does money buy happiness? This is something for probably 15 years I've thought about. I grew up with very little money. I worked crappy jobs for the first, I don't know, four years of my working career. And then I went on the oil rigs and I started making a hundred grand plus. And I really started thinking of like, is this money actually making me happy? And a lot of studies show that beyond some point, basically the point beyond that, that just gets you out of poverty because poverty creates pain, it creates suffering, it creates hunger. Anything above, again, adjusted as per where you live. But most studies show like, hey, after 60 grand, 70 grand a year, there's diminishing returns on making more money and happiness. The relationship is, is it's not a one for one relationship. You got a roof over your head, you can eat, you can, you know, you've got a little extra. Okay, that buys you happiness. But after that, it's a diminishing returns. And I read this thing of like, more money will underwrite joy. I was like, oh, that's a really great idea there. Money spent wisely in the right places can add to fulfillment. It can create joy and ultimately happiness. And happiness in and of itself is a topic that an hour-long episode could be created on because I've also been studying the study of happiness because there's been times in my life where I've been happy and there's been times in my life where I was miserable and oftentimes it wasn't even dependent on the external circumstances. It was more um, a reflection of my inner well-being. But that's a whole different conversation. But when it just comes to can money buy you happiness, I think the answer is yes. It can move you out of poverty, buys you food. It can buy you some form of uh, you know, security roof, roof over your head, etc. And the answer can be no, because at some point, if the money is spent, you know, in, in a way of keeping up with the Joneses, it can actually create more pain. If the money is spent buying stuff you actually don't need or getting deeper into debt because you've got, etc. It's just like, it's not buying you happiness. It's actually just like buying you misery. But if the money is spent on experiences that are meaningful to you, and you could take your loved one or imagine spending the money on getting your, let's just say parents as an example, uh, they could retire and you pay off their house. I think we could all agree that that would create joy and happiness. Or you take your loved one or someone you know, on, a, on, a, on an amazing holiday. Or uh, for example, my car. I love it when a kid is like, Googling, like oogling at the car, I've got an R8. And I remember as a kid, when, when a car owner would allow me to sit inside the car, it was like my life was made. And so a few days ago, I saw a car at the park, or a kid at the park, and they were looking at my car with their dad. And so I came up and I was like, hey, like, yeah, check it out. And then the kid jumped inside and the joy on his face and how grateful his dad was of like to share this experience lit me up inside. But what if I bought the car to prove something and I just drove it around thinking I was the man and I realized no one actually cares, dude, they're looking at the car, not you. It would probably lead me to misery. So to me, it's really important. Like, how do we think about money and how do we spend it? Are we always investing it? Even if that's in experiences or even in material possessions, why? Why are you buying that vehicle and where's it coming from? And if money is spent wisely, I do believe it creates a lot more happiness and joy and fulfillment. And it can fund your purpose and fund your mission in life. And it can help other people. But if we're only making money so our bank account gets bigger, then yes, there's di massive diminishing returns. And what I have found is at some point, it just creates misery. You're comparing yourself to other people. You never have enough. And now it's just money, 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 money. And now you're miserable and you're the Scrooge or the Grinch or something. Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, these kind of topics are held a lot in the UIG mindset section. So pop in. If you want to have a conversation about this or share your thoughts on it, do pop in, stay connected to the community. And with that said, we'll see you in the next audio.